Hi, this is Dan from edmhero.com and I want to just go through quickly how to use Bandcamp to harvest uh, people's emails when they download a free song of yours or track or album and then to use that information bring over your list into MailChimp.com which is a good email list service. Uh, they're free and for up to 2,000 subscribers so and once you're past 2000, um, I think you'll probably want to start paying for this service or you could move your list over to some other service. Uh, but they're a really good way to start, at least. I use them. So on your Bandcamp account, you say view your site. And if you've uploaded uh, a song or album already, go to edit it. And make sure you go to, you have downloads enabled. And if you're doing it for free, pricing zero, and click this, it says require email address. Require email address. Once you've got all that set and you've uh, allowed some downloads, people have downloaded it and you've got some emails, it's going to show up here. Uh, for the first time, if you haven't exported yet, you want to hit the export button in the top. I already have a list, so I want to get new stuff. So. When you click those, it's going to download a CSV file, which is just a database. Uh, it's kind of like an Excel sheet. Uh, now we're going to go over to MailChimp, and you, if you haven't made an account, make an account on MailChimp.com. I'm going to log in here. I want to create a campaign. And since I don't have a list yet, I'm going to say create new list. We're going to name the list. Uh, you should probably name this your artist's name and uh, news or something like that because uh, people will see this when they're told that they have subscribed or something. It's going to refer to it as whatever you put in the list name. And the reply to email is going to say who that they can reply to if they need to talk to somebody about the list. Um, default subject not so important because you're gonna probably be making a new subject every time you send out. And you should probably uh, mention uh, why they're on this list. They may not remember that they gave you their email once they got the free track, but so make a little note about that. All right, so we uh, made the list and we need to now import the contacts that we downloaded in the CSV file from Bandcamp. So uh, we're gonna upload this CSV file. Click upload, browse to it on your computer. And there's mine. Double click it, hit the import button. So it's got a list of the people I've imported. And it needs to verify uh, all these data columns here. Uh, it's usually a configure amount and you just want to make sure that they, that it knows what it's importing correctly into the right columns. The only ones you really need is the email. Um, first name, last name, not so important. Um, the rest is just extra data that you don't really need unless you want to kind of analyze who's on your list. So it says it's importing since I didn't have a whole lot to do and it basically did it immediately. Um, and it'll give you an email when it's once it's done. But if I view my list, it's got it all done already. See, I got my 98 subscribers in there already. Now. To send an email out, we go over to campaigns. I'm going to create the campaign. Just do a regular one. Uh, pick uh, DJ Spaghetti, it was a new one I just made. And I want to send to that list. This name is probably not too important. It's just uh, for your reference in the system here. Uh, but the one below this is actually going to be the one that people see in their address in their uh, subject line so you do want to make 
uh, this next one um, good. And the from name is gonna is who it's gonna sh say it's from. Um, reply to email who they can reply to. It doesn't like my fake one right now, but we're just gonna ignore that. The uh, f name here is is first name. It's gonna take what they found in the first name if there is data in the list that you imported and uh, refer to the person as as uh, as their first name. Um, all this stuff on the right was a uh, pretty good default. Um, I wouldn't connect it to Facebook or anything. I don't think people want to see stuff on Facebook like this. And then there's a pretty basic uh, editor that helps you uh, design how it looks and type in all of uh, your content and news and everything that you're going to share with people. And um, I'm just going to skip through that. If you're allowing people to choose what format email they're going to uh, receive, this is where you edit the text message version. Uh, you can just click the copy text from HTML and it will it'll bring over all your content. And then so here you can send it, but um, I would recommend hitting the preview and test and sending one to yourself just to make sure it all looks good and it's got everything you need. And you can go send now or schedule one. And uh, every time you send a new one, you probably, before you send a new one, you probably want to check your Bandcamp for uh, new addresses that you've uh, gathered. And every time you want to go uh, bring it back to MailChimp and add it to your list.